Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Game Plays. I'm Fabio Pisco, and today with another meat chilling video. With another meat chilling video on the AMD drivers. Today with the AMD 20.10.1 drivers, AMD Adrenaline. And well, like I say in all my driver videos, 20 is the year, 2020, 10 is the month, October, and 1 is the first revision in that in that month. So one, the first revision in October. These new drivers feature support for new games like Watchdog Legion, for example, Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods, and so on. So it supports newer games or newer versions of the games, new DLCs and so on. And there's some fixes, some really good fixes, like for example, the, the problems with the a HDMI audio, because some people were actually having really bad problems with the HDMI audio, uh, which was not my case, gladly. But for people having this issue, I really think that this driver is a must. And well, for those of you that have been kind of uh, following this driver saga, per se, this driver saga, um, not Sega, Sega is the Sega Dreamcast. This driver saga, uh, well, you already know that for me, the best driver is the 20.4.2. For me and for a lot of people, the best driver is the 20.4.2, which is the previously, uh, the previous recommended driver, sorry. What I mean is that uh, the AMD drivers are always like a Russian roulette, so it works for my cousin, it also works for my neighbor, it doesn't work for my mother, whatever. Uh, but it's, it is always a Russian roulette and um, we can't actually know uh, if it will work for us or not. So I'm doing this once again for kind of mid shielding and giving you my opinion and my experience on these drivers. Now for the ones that were always following these driver videos, you guys know that for me, in my monitor with my RX 5700 XT, the 20.4.2 drivers are the best till now. And not just because of performance, but because of FreeSync actually working. And the only driver past 20.4.2 that actually works correctly with FreeSync is the 20.8.3, at least for me, of course. Uh, so in other monitors, like for example, my girl's friend, my girlfriend's monitor, uh, it has it also has FreeSync, and the FreeSync works in all driver versions. But for me, it doesn't. I don't really know why. Uh, it's a crap. But well, 20.4.2 and 20.8.3 are the driver versions that work correctly, that work correctly with FreeSync for me. And for most people, those are the best driver versions, the 20.4.2 and the 20.4, the 20.8.3. But what about the newest 20.10.1? My experience with these drivers wasn't actually that bad, apart from one thing once again, FreeSync. So I was playing my normal games as usually, uh, and I actually noticed that I had a bit higher uh, frame rates in some games. Not in all games, but in some games. For example, competitive games uh, like uh, PUBG, Fortnite, for example, even on CSGO, I had higher frame rates with these drivers. But at the cost of FreeSync, and I can not start playing without FreeSync. I cannot... Uh, let FreeSync go. FreeSync is a must, at least for me. I love the smoothness and almost no input lag of FreeSync, so I can't start not using it. It is impossible for me. So basically, yeah, I get no black screens, no stutters, the performance is actually pretty good. Uh, in some cases, like I said, uh, higher, higher frame rates, uh, higher averages and higher 1% lows, which is great but at the cost of freezing. So you can't actually enjoy the smoothness. So if you're playing at, 
at a high frame number, for example, 300 or 400 FPS, and you just play CSGO or whatever, um, you can actually not care about this. But if you actually love FreeSync, well, this driver may not work for you properly. But, like I said, it's a Russian roulette. And well, guys, I know these videos are a bit repetitive, but they are what they are. Also, don't forget this. Okay. Don't forget, you can buy these awesome shirts, these awesome Ancient Gameplays shirts. Uh, you can buy them by the link in the description from this spring. They ship to worldwide, they ship worldwide for every little country uh, you may live in. So they are pretty damn nice, I mean, pretty damn nice. Let's see the back. And you can buy them with links in the description, so it's easy. That's all for today guys, I'm sticking with the 20.4.2 drivers for now because, like I said, I love FreeSync and the driver is perfect for me in most games. I do not mind having a bit lower FPS, but I do mind not having FreeSync, so 20.4.2 it is. Hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. And let's now see a small comparison between the 20.4.2, the best driver for me, and the 20.10.1. Enjoy and see you in the next video.